there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Chop, chop. Let's get you out of that cattle way and into something decent. We are in something of a hurry. All right. Well, come on, Three. dear boy. Don't be shy. A very good choice, sir. All right, well, finally figured that out. Um, welcome to episode th er, part three <laughs> of chapter four. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and if you are, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Only help my channel grow. Um, hope you guys have a nice day. Talk to you later. And flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields. Come to lay it on. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, uh, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Ooh, get my hair cut. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Just what I wanted. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the rocks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Ain't it? Coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, you driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> like
likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been a wreck. Your chips will be wasted. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Morning to you. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Are you playing tonight, sir? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Oh. 
Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirl. My luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, <coughs> venture, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Uh, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well. Here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Yes, you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And. How exactly are we getting out of here? 
I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> You're the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Now, don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get out of here! Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leaks? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, to the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. 
Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, shit. What the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Drisco boys are coming! Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Miss 
Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Look what we got here. So, except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off. Tried to kill the lot of us. Whole place gives me the creeps. <laughs> 